Hey everyone, Sean from Cordy Comics. Thanks for stopping by today. Um, so before we get started, just make sure you um, subscribe down below for future content. Of course, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. And um, please feel free to comment down below with any questions you have. And I try to get back to every single person that leaves a comment on any of my videos. Um, I think it's super important as a fellow online community that we share our love and interest for comic books and we get to talk about trends and whatnot. Um, but what I want to go over today is um, some possible comics that I want to send into CGC. And so I have always have like a building list of like, should I send this? Should I not? Um, and then I have the whole like, do I want these to be pre-screened to 9.8? And then I have the whole whatever grade I get, I'll take because I can still sell it and make a decent profit. And so today I just wanted to kind of show um, some issues that I've had, I've been holding on to, and this is what I think I want to send to CGC. This is a mix of pre-screened ones, non-pre-screened ones. Um, I have some that are um, older, so they're that different tier, and so it's just like a mix of everything. Um, but the first ones I wanted to talk about is A-Force number one. So this is the regular A cover. I have two of these. These are both probably 9.8 candidates. Um, and then I have the Scotty Young variant. Um, actually, I'm not the biggest Scotty Young fan, but I actually like his earlier work where there's multiple characters on the cover. Um, there's just like more story and interaction versus like the single person. Um, or the single character or like the two characters on it. So I really like this cover. I think this is great. And it has a lot of um, some of my favorite female Marvel characters on it. Um, and then I scored this from um, my fellow friend Longbox Love Affair. Um, he, he knew I was been hunting for this in like a nice minty condition of this for a while. I've had a slew of these um, kind of come and go in my um, in my collection for a brief time because I would buy them on eBay. I had one that was like severely damaged in the mail, um, and then I had one where the um, I paid fair market value for a near mint, and it came in and it was definitely not near mint, near mint, so I sent that back. But this one, believe it's a 9.8. Believe I'm sending it out. Um, I only have the first print of it. I know someone who has like every single one of these. Um, it's just funny because like I saw this was like fifteen dollars, you know, twenty nineteen. I was like, mm, do I want it? Do I want it? I don't know. Who is this character? <laughs> and of course now I know more. Um, and then we have some. Um, was it second and third appearance of Carnage? Um, these are not, they're very close to 9 8 but they're probably a 9 6 or 9 4, both of them. Um, not new stand or anything special, but um, debating on this, I believe, I, you know, I paid like maybe, I think 15 or something, if that, for each one, so they're still, I, I got like a really good deal on them. Um, and I really, I'm not, I'm not a super Spider-Man fan and I grabbed these because I was like, you know, there's all the carnage hype that's going up. And so if you can't afford the first appearance, maybe you want the second appearance of carnage. Um, and I've been snagging up these ever since I see them. Alpha flight number one. Um, I got this from, um, what was it? IG comic store. Um, he always has super, super high quality um, older comics. And so this one is probably, it's probably a 9.6, 9.4. There is a, a printer rub right here, but aside from that, no spine takes or anything like that on it. Uh, and then we have Alpha Flight number 33, which is the first appearance of Lady Deathstrike. And so mostly grabbing it because X-Men crossovers for characters and whatnot. Um, and so debating on sending this one in. Um, and then I grabbed this for about 10 bucks. We have Web of Spider-Man number one. I believe this one has been, you know, kind of going up and down over the past couple of months. Um, 
This one is probably a 9.6, if not a 9.4. Is it worth it? Um, and then this one is definitely not a 9.8. Um, probably like a... No. Anywhere from 7 to 8. Um, it is Marvel Team Up number 95. The first appearance of Mockingbird. And I believe it is a newsstand. Correct me if I'm wrong for a newsstand. newsstand. But again, I scored this for, I think, $17. And it's in fairly good condition. I did end up pressing and cleaning this one, and it looks so much better after a press and clean. Um, it, it still does have um, some up here, has some little staining, and then this part of the spine is has some rubbing and whatnot on it. Uh, this one I've been hunting for a long time, long time, and always wanted to just see it in person to buy it. I was trying not to buy a graded version of it because you pay so much for a graded versus if you find it raw in a condition that you think it would be good. Um, is uh, Prince Namor the Submariner number one. Bam! Um, I've been trying to find this in a decent condition. Obviously not a 9.8. Um, this one, as you can see here, definitely has some spine rubbing and wear and curling. Um, it did have um, some spine roll to it and I fixed it. Um, it does have like a dog ear down here. Um, definitely plenty of spine ticks. I would say maybe a six to seven, probably a six. Um, I got this for a hundred bucks. Very happy with that versus, you know, thousands upon thousands of dollars for one. Um, the I think the cover has, it's really bright and vibrant still. So I'm super happy with that. This is more of like, I think this is a great cover. Um, I'm not 100% super fan of Namor, but I think this is just the composition, the way this cover looks. Um, you know, it's the first in the series of this character as an ongoing series. So I think this is kind of like, just kind of like a great comic to have and this idea of like collecting as uh, comics. Um, this next one, um, I believe I've shown in a previous video, it's X-Men 50. Um, I just, I need this, need this comic just preserved nice and beautifully. Um, and I just, I would love this as like a giant poster, like something like that behind me. Um, so who knows, maybe I can do some, use my photographing skills and get some prints made of it or something. Who knows? Uh, but this I just need to encapsulate. Uh, and the last, it's so funny, just like how I got this book. Um, and so I ended up, I'm gonna take it out of its actual sleeve. Um, I ordered these, this like Instagram mystery box. And um, in it you choose like, oh, what kind of titles are you into? Um, you know, choose out of these 20 like titles who would you, what would you want out of it? And a lot of it's like Silver Age comics. And so I was like, sweet, it's $250. Um, and uh, when I got it, the box was destroyed. Destroyed and everything was like dinged up so horribly bad. And um, the seller was just like kind of embarrassed to send it. And I mean, to like, to send this package. And he ended up refunding me in full um, which I was like, you want the books back? <laughs> and he was like, no, no. And I was like, okay. So inside of that 250, it was a combo of like new books and old books. And everything was this kind of like, maybe like, it added up to 250. Um, and then I came across this book and I was like, oh, this one looks so familiar. So it's um, World's Finest 153. And so, some of you may or may not know this book, um, but let me find the page that, you know, we all know as a meme, which is right there, right there in the center. It's that lovely Batman slapping Robin. And I was like, oh my god. 
I have this book. It's so good. Um, and I don't think the, the guy knew. Because um, this book definitely goes for a decent amount. Um, Condition-wise, it's probably mid-grade. I would say somewhere between a, um, five to six five. I'm just trying to figure out, is this book worth being graded? Because I know it's all about the interior art that's on it. It's not about the book itself. And so should I get it graded? Um, I think the cover's nice in general, but I feel like people want to like open it and see that. So um, this one I've been holding on to for a couple of months and I was like, do I want to grade it? And if I do, it would go in with these three books. I'm trying to find some um, some other books to send it in because these are all, um, the date would put them in a different tier of grading. And so I'm just trying to figure out what else can I send in with it? I do have some earlier X-Men books that I might send with in with it, but um, I would say I need at least five to 10 that I want to send in at this tier. So this would be the non like modern tier. So it's the not value, but just regular standard. And so I believe instead of 18 per book, it's uh, 35. I might be wrong with the CGC specs, but um, so yeah, I just need to figure out like, is this book worth it? <laughs> um, it goes for like anywhere from fifty two hundred dollars raw, but I haven't been able to find too many graded sales of it, so that's why I was on the fence. Um, I might do some more research on it. So let me know. Should I definitely send some of these books in? If so, which books? If not, let me know which book is, is a definite no. It's not worth the time. It's not worth the money, especially with like any of the conditions and grades that I told you on. Uh, and let me know down below in the comments. Uh, I'll definitely respond back to it. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to future content. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for stopping by.